What's going on everybody, Travis Dev here, back with some more Isaac. Last time we got ourselves an early clicker after doing some uh, shenaniganery with the Card Against Humanity. Uh, unintentional rhyme there. <laughs> See for today is One Quacks P2QR. Starting off on Burning Basement, Curse of the Darkness. <clears throat> so let's see if we can't pull ourselves a second win. Would be fantastic. Fantastic indeed. For our item room here. I'd love to push this bomb. Hmm, secret room might be to the right side here, I'm guessing. See if I can't uh, get this bomb uh, barrel over here. Sorry, I'm playing a little distracted right now. <laughs> I'm focusing. There we go. Nope, I'm not going to be able to do it. Well, that is what it is, I suppose. At least we get the bomb, at least we get the penny. Uh, we'll come back for that, obviously. We don't need it right now. Some dingles. I need to see these rocks over here. So, yeah. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Those of you watching. Recording this on uh, Monday here, uh, a few days till Christmas. This one will come out, I think, on the 20th. This one might come out Christmas Eve. I, I can't remember the, uh, the release schedule. I, I record these kind of, uh, you know, here and there, and then uh, I release one a day. I don't, I don't have a too big of a backlog, but it's uh, it's a few videos for sure. Let's see you there. There's that tinted rock right there. We'll, we'll hold off on for now. Secret Room is definitely another tinted rock. Definitely right here, but we'll go ahead and check that out first. See what we got in here. Just a couple bombs and a uh, keeper here with uh, pennies in his eyes, coins in his eyes. Blow those guys up. Surprised we didn't get anything out of there. That's, uh, that's kind of shocking. Keep looking for our shop and item room, hoping there's a good uh, item in the shop. And then uh, potentially, you know, bomb the reroll machine. We do have uh, a fair bit of money on the ground as well. So if we, if we can get something good out of there, I'd be, I'd be thrilled for sure. Time. For certain indeed. You know, it's a little dangerous. This guy's, uh, is, uh, these flaming guys are always a little tricky. Let's make sure we dodge them and, and do damage. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. It's got the uh, pulsating guy, I think, right there. Maybe it wasn't. He just dropped the key. Take a look in our shop first, as I like to do. Uh, go ahead and re-roll for the moment. See if we can't get something better. Uh, humbling bundle, I would say, is better. We'll go ahead and pick that up. It's a great item, obviously. Mm, gonna, gonna try to roll again. Let's see, uh, BFFs might be nice. Pokeball is trash or friendly ball. Confusing Pokeball, Poke Go, and and friendly ball, both of which are, are not very good. So. Humbling Bundle, obviously fantastic, going to give us double consumable drops for all pennies, bombs, keys, and hearts. Obviously, we can't get hearts, um, but it uh, works very good with uh, what we got, and, you know, it uh, helps make Blood Banks actually uh, worth playing, uh, even more so than they are actually are. Um, it's kind of like some uh, trinket or something. So we want to go down to the next floor with five cents, which we should have plenty to do. I, I do think we should roll the store just a little bit more. Just in case we can get something fantastic, but still got like 10, uh, 10 or so cents in the ground right now. Just gonna make sure we don't die to monster here. Paw shots sometimes get you. Sometimes get you indeed. Whoa, almost got hit there. Almost got hit there. No problem. No problem. And there goes Monstro. Let's see what we get from the boss. Yeah, growth hormones is pretty good. Pretty big speed upgrade and a nice damage upgrade. I, I can't complain. Can't complain for sure. So we got, let's see, 27 cents. Could buy a bomb and maybe, you know, check crack into these tinted rocks. Um, I don't really want to do that. I'd rather roll the shop just to see what else we can get. I like BFFs well enough, but uh, I think we got enough money that we should try for something better. Uh, jumper cables, okay, yeah, 9 volt definitely is uh, is the best uh, option that we could have got out of there, so this will potentially allow us to, you know, farm money pretty effectively, because if we find a room with 
combat in it that uh, it poses no danger, like a, a neutral fly or, or something like that, or a nub or something. You could uh, potentially farm, not that way, I don't think we're going to. <clears throat> and now this will allow our item to charge passively while we're on uh, loops. Uh, the Curse of the Darkness on uh, Burning Basement, you hate to see it <laughs> because you can't see anything. Nice dime out of that one, though. Go, some bombs. Of course, you got the double locked room up there. Definitely interested, but we need some more keys first. Not that keys should be an issue for us because we do have humbling bundles. But can't just be going using them willy nilly right now. We gotta make sure we can get into our item room first. Or, uh, yeah, item room, yes. There we go. Uh, we could probably check it out now. Might as well while we're here. A couple chests and a red chest. You know, it's not bad. You get a golden key. It's definitely worth it. Basically cost us one key to get in there, because, uh, oops, let me pick that up, but it's fine. Uh, because that, you know, we're definitely using a key to get into the, uh, uh item room. Charge key there, very nice. Again, I, I use the, uh, the wood nickel just a little bit too quickly, as I, as I tend to do. But shouldn't, shouldn't harm us, this is a fairly easy room, we should not be taking damage on this one. Uh, go, come back to the item room once we find the shop. I want to make sure if we get uh, there's options or more options, whatever the item's called. Uh, we'll want to get that before we head into the item room. Shop could be here. There it is. I was thinking it might have been on that uh, corridor over there, but that uh, that last room we haven't been to, I would not be surprised if that's a self-sacrifice room, which, you know, uh, we could play that if, uh, if we yeah, find it in the best interest, in our best interest to do so. Pop that. Take a look in our shop. Fortunately, I don't really like, uh, I, I shouldn't say I don't like it. Deck of cards is it's okay, but it's obviously not good for us right now. We should uh, go ahead and buy this card. Never know if it's a strength card. Temperance. Temperance is pretty good. We'll hold on to that for the moment. Uh, we, could, we could farm a little bit of money, but I'd rather have a reroll machine on the shop before we do that. So maybe on a future floor. Hot bombs. Yeah, it's bombs. Bombs are okay at this stage. Secret room should be here, if I had to guess. It's not. It gives me hope. Can it be here? It can't be there. I would have, I would have thought after uh, this uh, this room right here that the uh, secret room would have been to the south of the cursed room, so I'm not 100% sure where it is right now. Maybe to the south of the item room? I thought... You know what? I, I thought the shop was a little farther over here. Okay. I thought the shop was in a different location, so I, I, I'm guessing it's uh, to the south of the item room right there, the, uh, the secret room that is. Got a wrath fight, which is fine. Look you to uh, not kick the bombs in as close as uh, he's doing right now. So. Mr. Boom, might as well use him to crack into this pot, get, uh, get that bomb. Or those bombs. It's not there. So yeah. Almost assuredly then the the secret room is going to be right here. Indeed it were. Those fires don't hurt us again because we it's, it's our own fire from the hot bombs. Pop into here, we got the golden keys. It does cost us a couple bombs, but I think it's gonna be worth it in the long run. Yeah, just all the other money that we can uh, we can get out of there. Another golden key didn't do anything for us, obviously. So we'll go take a look at the bar. So the super secret room, I think it might be here. It's a kind of an interesting spot, but all right, we got a temperance machine. I like it. I like it. So we could double tap those. Just want to see what we get out of uh, the the beggar here first. Love a, a restock if uh, you feel so kind again. Also have a demon beggar. I don't think I'll play him right now, but I guess you never know. Let's see if you get uh, some type of item out of this guy. A nun's habit or something. Not that I'm expecting, because I don't think I can. Best item would be restock. Uh, you know, Dad's Lost Coin's not bad. I don't mind the luck upgrade. We'll, uh, should do this right now. Okay, we got the IV bag, which is okay. Should uh, make use of this. It's a little a touchy, touch dangerous, because I want to make sure I, I'm being smart about it. Actually, mm, I really should, but I'm not going to, because I'm a little nervous, and I know myself, I have a tendency to 
sometimes get myself into trouble when I'm doing this. I guess I really should. Man. There we go. Because this way we can also play the, the demon beggar. So we get some money on the ground. Just gotta be extra careful, because again, I know myself. I'm not gonna pick up that dime, but that's alright. So we should get the blood bag payout here if I uh, remember how the game works. I don't think you can get two IV bags uh, on the same floor. You might not be able to get two of them on the same run. I think it's just the same floor, though. Let me pick up all that money. Right, there's the blood bag for us. So now, let's go fight the boss. This means we can take a one heart devil deal. Should the opportunity arise. Little horn. I don't think this is champion little horn. I think it's just regular little horn, so we should be fine. Just gotta make sure we're, we're staying far enough away that uh, the dark matter balls don't come in super fast and end up causing us damage, because I'd love to get the Devil Deal here. Even if we're not going to take it, we still have, you know, we obviously have the HP upgrade out here. Yeah, like that. Um, so we want to make sure that we're, we're fine. Let's some damage. Oh, for three on this, uh, on this room. A little unfortunate, but didn't matter. Speed upgrade, it's nice. Puts us at pretty good speed. Uh, not going to take the shovel, it's a pretty trash item. Skip that and hope for Angel Deals in the future. Uh, let's see here. I could tap this guy. I think I'm going to pass for now. Just take the HP upgrade. could think about rolling with the IV bag long term. I don't think that's going to be the right move because we already have a lot of money. And we have humbling bundles. So we shouldn't be wanting for too much cash on this on this run. So, you know, uh, it, not the best floor for us. wasn't, like, horrendous or anything, but... We didn't get anything that moves the needle too much. We'll head on down to the next floor. Second here, I'll check on something. All right, let's move on. So, interesting room. Go. I'm gonna use that a little too quickly again. We should be fine this room. We got plenty of speed. We're not gonna take damage, almost assuredly. It's not impossible, but uh, I can't see myself taking a hit here. <clears throat> with, the, with the speed and damage that we got. For a good item in the item room here, in the shop, to be honest, we got tons of money. Not, I wouldn't be surprised if we found ourselves fighting greed here, but I'd be. I wouldn't be shocked, um, but I would. I'm not thinking that we're gonna fight one, fight greed here. That's what I'm trying to say. Staying cautious against these bomb flies. Nice, blew that guy up. Get the key over to us. Not gonna go fight the boss yet, obviously. Want to make sure if we find ourselves uh, like if there's options in the shop, we take that first. Never know when having multiple options in your pretty much anywhere is gonna help you out. Hate this room, that's for sure. This guy especially is real nasty. Gotta focus down on one of them. Go, Just gotta focus on this guy, and then take care of the rest. Alright. Whoa, there's an interesting hop. I was not expecting him to move down there. But we're gonna be fine. We're Probably not going to take damage. I still could take a hit, but I, I don't think I will on this room. Oh, very good. Take a look in our shop. We get Nun's Habit, like I said earlier. Hey, we'll take the Joker card. I like the Joker card here. Could be good for us. Just going to head blow this guy up. Get a higher devil chance. Get a, get a little money on the floor. Um, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to donate. Should have plenty of money coming our way in the future. And you never know. We get a, a luck upgrade and a higher angel deal chance. Which again, we can we can go to the angel deal anytime we want because we have the Joker card, or I guess not the not the necessarily the angel deal, but uh, the devil deal or the angel deal. Just gonna put these fires out just so I don't walk on them or walk into them on my way back. Which again, I know myself, I I, I have a tendency to do do that go a little too fast um, when I'm playing sometimes. We're out of range of these guys, so no big deal. 
people are looking for our item room. And watch out for the bombs, and we're fine now. As well, pop into here. We'd love a small rock. Nope. Don't really want to do that either. Small rock would be great here. It would slow us down a little bit. We're, we are a little fast. Not the uh, not, uh, run ending, so we're probably better to have the speed right now um, than to not throw a bomb up and try to get some of these guys. Oh, look at that. What a heck of a bomb. <laughs> yeah, little monsters, all right. Does uh, pretty good damage for a familiar. Here's the monster shot. He's a bro, he's a bro. Uh, we'll do this full clear. I don't think I'm in too much risk. All right, I gotta just walk over here get the money. Uh, I guess I'd probably prefer missing out here just because we have the Joker card. We didn't have a high chance anyway. It's not like it's a huge... I thought I picked up money. I guess I must have got hit again. So that's a little dangerous, a little dangerous. For sure. Come on, game. Let me let me hit the enemies. Thank you very much. Super secret room could be here or here. I'm surprised it's not. Double locked room. We'll take a look at that. Love a any any dice room really. Well, not any dice room, but uh, there's a number of them would be fine. Let's pop it. Don't think I'm gonna re-roll at this stage unless we get like something crazy that uh, would be terrible for us which is not going to happen because we really only got two things left on this floor which are the item room item room the boss room and the angel deal or devil deal because we're we going to go there i think uh, at this point one thing i would not like to see here would be the breath of life because if we would have taken breath of life or if we would taken an uh, iv bag no never mind i'm thinking i'm getting two items completed i was getting an uh, iv bag and isaac's heart completed for some reason so I'm thinking, oh yeah, yeah, Breath of Life and Ivy Bag, oh, this is a game-winning combination, but I'm, I'm thinking of uh, Breath of Life and Isaac's Heart, or Ivy Bag, Isaac's Heart, so. Pardon my miss because that was incorrect. Let's see a little monster doing work. Bad hit, that's fine. Last time we had this low of a, a devil deal, angel deal chance, we got Godhead. <laughs> so, maybe again, you never know. Gotta get out of that, that corner here. Grimstone shot. I guess I took hit there. I, I should not pick that up yet. All right, we got an angel deal and nothing out of it. Uh, should we fight him? I think we'll fight the angel because we have so many flies. And I want to get more angel deals in the future as opposed to devil deals. Not sure if it's going to be the right decision, but uh, I think it's the one I'm going with. So should go grab the rest of the consumables on this floor because you never know when we can we're going to need them. Could also take blue candle. Don't think that's gonna be the right decision. Does do good damage, and we do have the nine volts, so it would proc a little quicker than normal. But I don't think it's gonna be the right decision. Just get a little more comfortable here. I just I don't think it's gonna be the right decision. So. I might be missing some money in that secret room, but that's fine. Move on down to the next floor. Curse of the Blind. I don't like it, but uh, going to this library. We get the Satanic Bible. Book of Revelations. Top of the favorite dungeons. Uh, do I want an orbital here? I think I do, so I'll go ahead and use Book of Revelations. Probably also just use Satan and Bible, get a, a couple of flies out of it as well. Hoping for Book Shadows, obviously, with Book Shadows and Nine Volt, that would have been a great combination, especially because we had Book of Revelations in there. But hey, at least we got Bookworm. Now, uh, occasionally, we'll shoot five shots instead of three. Pretty good. Pretty solid. Take damage here. Again, we got the nearly 70% chance for a devil deal. We'll love to get it. Take a look in the secret room first. Just a couple of spiders and some money here and there. Like the bombs. 
kind of low on bombs. We, we are using them fairly liberally, but might as well. When you have Humbling Bundle, you're expected to get, uh, you know, more as the run goes on. <laughs> a little monster shot went like super fast and across the map. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Take a look in our item room. Again, we can't see it, but I think I'm going to take it. Box of spiders. It's a box of spiders. Indeed it is. Could be good for us on some some occasions, but right now it's it's not. Also have a sacrifice room. You might want to use that. Go ahead and pop in this uh, golden chest. That's not what I wanted to do with it. Try this again. There we go. Get an item, Steven. Very good. 1.51 1 damage up. It's going to be solid for us. Hopefully our spiders can handle this uh, last bony here. It's going to be a dangerous room sometimes, but we should be fine now. Unless, of course, we just uh, take damage like an idiot. Get caught in the mushroom. He was talking. I was like, oh, we're going to be fine. And then I went and go ahead and take damage. How about that? How about that? Yeah. At least we know we got an orbital coming. That's, uh, that's something good for us. Uh, unless, of course, we fight uh, Hebus Horseman. I think you fight Hebus Horseman on this, uh, on this floor. Pony wouldn't be bad for us, but I don't think we would take it. Gonna see what we get in our shot. It's a greed fight. No surprise there. No surprise there. Hoping for a steam sail. Pick up some money so I don't die. Fine, just took that one off the chin. Didn't, didn't feel like there's any reason not to. That will guarantee us basically that we can play the sacrifice room should we need or should we find ourselves interested in doing so, which I think I will. I think I will. Hate this room. Hate this room. Get hemmed in. Get hemmed in. Gotta make space for ourselves. Still a little hemmed in. We gotta take care of this uh, spider guy. Thank you very much, little monstro. Should be fine now. Go, go. This room uh, ended one of our runs. I don't know if I put that one on YouTube or not. I know I had uh, some combination of some interesting items, and then I, I walked into this room, and I just could not take care of the bonies uh, before they came up and, and killed me. So, so right. Two shot in these guys. Very nice at this stage of the game, especially when we get our bookworm proc. There we go. Boss room should be here. Indeed it is. Pestilence, of course. Easiest, easier pestilence. Which is fantastic for us. Get an orbital here. Took damage. Took damage like an idiot. Gotta, gotta, gotta stop getting so close to him. I'm expecting him to do that that uh, spider attack instead of the number of shots he was putting out. It's kind of kind of a rarity for him to do that. I should, uh, should take the responsibility on myself. Obviously no deal there. We're going to go back and play the Sacrifice Room now. Hoping to get something great out of there. Or teleport to the Angel Devil Deal. Not that we take a Devil Deal through this case. But I wouldn't mind a Krampus fight. Should that uh, befall us. Not really sure I came in here in hindsight. Probably shouldn't have, but we did not end up taking damage, so no big deal. No big deal. Just got to remember there's spikes down there, so when I come back I don't walk on them and die. Go ahead and pop these skulls as well. Never know if we can get out of here. Two of spades, we'll go ahead and use that. Temperance, that's, uh, that's going to be good for the next floor. Magician. So I should use this in here. Very nice to get the money whenever we get it. Feel blessed, so this means now if we get a teleport, we'll go to the angel deal. Okay, you gotta remember there's spikes on the way back in one of these rooms. Feel blessed again. I don't remember what the second one does. I don't think it actually does anything. Yeah, no payouts from these. Uh, guys, huh? Going about the magician right now. I think we should be finding ourselves fighting an angel statue here in a second. If there's troll bombs, it's fine. We don't care. This one's an angel statue. It's a touch risky to do this, but I'll, I'll get the two pieces so that um, I'm pretty much guaranteed to get angel deals in the future. Not not 100%, not 100%, but. Uh, pretty close to it. Not going to pick that up, but we're, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine here. Go ahead and take the second key piece, and we'll go ahead and uh, pop this guy. All right, we got nothing out of it, so that's fine. That's fine. We will keep on moving. Keep on moving. 
Uh, I suppose I should go see what's in this box here. Apparently. If there's like an item pedestal or something, I think we would be better served taking it as opposed to passing it up. So let us see what we've got in here. Mm, it's a bit risky. We do have an item pedestal. Not my favorite one. I, li I like Tammy's head, but uh, obviously we're hoping for some money real quick so we don't die in this room. You might think this is a mistake, and it, it might be. It might be. But uh, I was hoping. Should have got a charge in, in hindsight because we did have uh, some money on the, on the ground, so we could have, you know, taken damage and, and gotten some, a couple of pennies in here. But uh, we sh should be fine at this point. Haunt is a little dangerous, but. We're probably going to be okay. Almost took a hit there. We didn't. Took a hit there, but that's fine. That's fine. And there we go. Sorry about that. Let's <clears throat> keep on moving here. Hoping for some good stuff on the rest of this run. Indeed I am. Let's go this way. Alright, so again, uh, you know, we got, I think we got Steven on this floor, if I remember correctly, or was that last floor? I know we got Cuban Meat, so Cuban Meat's pretty good. Hoping for a library in the future, I'll be getting Book of Shadows, and yeah, maybe that, uh, that'll lead us to glory. You never know, you never know. Depths 1. Easiest, easiest version of the third floor, so I appreciate that game. Appreciate it. These guys are always a bit annoying. You can't kill them quick enough, which we don't have the best killing power right now. We're okay, but we, you know, we'd love some more tears, we'd love some more damage, obviously. I always, always love more damage. Let's go ahead and bomb this. You never know, we get the swallowed penny. Great for us on this floor. We did not. And we just got some more money in there. Okay, we got teleported. Curse of the maze. Those exploding bonies are always annoying. Yep. Quick fire rate. High shot speed and all that good jazz. I did not even see that guy. Not gonna be, not gonna lie. So uh, one of the dangers of uh, staying on one half of the room here. Sometimes you miss guys like that. Of course, the big rooms always have a little bit of interesting camera action whenever you go up, which is uh, you know a tad a bit, tad, tad bit annoying. Tad a bit annoying indeed. You see, uh, our lack of damage is really kind of starting to hurt us right now. Love, really, 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 really love to get a, an angel deal. That, uh, the first one that we got, obviously, we, we didn't get anything out of it. There's no items, there's just the, the hearts one, which is always a little bit uh, annoying, frustrating whenever you go in there. You know, you earned the angel deal, uh, even though we got there be a joker card. Um, sometimes it's, uh, you know, you know it's, it's a mechanic of the game. It is what it is, you know, you gotta, you gotta live with it. You gotta, gotta make do with what you got. See if you can't uh, do something good. Oh, almost took damage there. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. This is a this is a heck of a room. I don't know if I've ever seen this variant of this room before. Didn't mean to pick that up. Obviously, there's really no reason for us to take any money off the ground right now unless we find some lucky pennies. Which in that case, I probably would. But obviously, that does not really apply right now. So just hoping hoping for a good shot. Hoping for a good shot with the reroll machine. go make our way down this way did not mean to use it again again i find myself doing that all the time crack into this get the golden key take a look at what we got in these red chests hoping for i don't know any item really would be awesome except for a few <laughs> we all know the ones we all know the ones so again gonna gonna do the painstaking and annoying task of not going to the item room until we go to the shop first never know if we get there's options it's a charge key yeah uh, might as well i definitely hit the space bar item before i wanted to pick that up but whatever we'll probably be fine right famous last words <laughs> we'll probably be fine nah we'll, we'll be fine we'll be fine <clears throat> interesting i definitely think i want to do that this room sucks but 
uh, we got plenty of speed. We got plenty of speed. Uh, one thing that's really annoying about this one is this, uh, this green guy that will split into a couple champions, or not a couple champions, a couple regular enemies after he uh, he goes down. But it's the bullet. It's just all that. Whatever super the Okay, he uh, was a dumb hit. I think he slid a little bit, as these guys tend to do whenever they, you know, end up not dying. Is that the right terminology to use? Um, go. Definitely think that's probably worth it. I guess neither trinket really does a ton for us right now. I don't know why. I'm just being a little lazy with my dodging, which is a, a really stupid thing to do because that's going to end up uh, inevitably killing us. We've got to be safe here. Go pick up some money somewhere back here. I know there was some on the ground. Like I said, I know there was some on the ground in here. Yes, indeed. Come back this way and pop into the store. This is a, this is a interesting store. You don't always see this one, but it's very good. Obviously, you got the lucky pennies over on the sides here. You got a couple enemies, and you've got uh, just a, an amalgamation of various things. But you love to see it. Go ahead and bomb this buy these bombs right now. Emperor guard would be pretty good if we want that. Uh, I think we might as well take this. We should pretty much take anything that we want because we have tons of money right now. And no reason to get that. Let's go throw down another bomb. Another mega. Eh. I don't really want it. Soul converter does not do a thing. Champion belt. Mr. Me. Definitely gotta buy Mr. Me. So that'll allow us to uh, potentially reroll the shop a few times, should we find ourselves in a situation where we cannot do that. So like here, might as well try to get the sack head. And we got it, very nice, very nice. Uh, no reason to get bogo bombs. No reason to get bogo bombs. Let's get both of these. Definitely gonna try to get some more charges on the ground. Thank you very much. Clubs. We can play the Temperance Machine for quite a while and we can farm some charges, which we are going to do with Mr. Me. Because again, we're getting charged every time we take damage because we have Nun's Habit. So, see how many shop items we can't go through. Thank you very much, Mr. Me. You're always a bro. Or your bro is always. Two Emperor cards. Not bad, not bad. It's annoying when that happens. Let's see. Okay, very good. Just hoping this stays. I guess I, I probably could have done this in the shop. I just didn't want to clutter it. I'd say I probably should because we do have Curse of the Maze. So it could be pretty annoying if uh, we find ourselves in situations where the blood bank, you know, gets teleported some distance away. Definitely want stopwatch. Definitely want fanny pack. Definitely want fanny pack. No, don't, don't, don't. All right, very good, very good. That was close, that was close. Uh, gotta get some money here. It's a little dangerous, of course, doing this while we don't know what's uh, what's on the ground and, and, and such, but we should be fine. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be fine. Going to be fine, all right? Curse of the Maze, I love you. Just kidding, I hate you. This way. Sorry, just checking on something here. And, and get another hit of damage. Alright, like I said, nope, don't want to be in there. I want to be in here. Gotta get fanny pack here. We got a couple charges. We got another charge out there. Should we happen to fail? But we didn't, because you gotta love yourselves. Hey, Mr. B. He said diamonds is interesting. Blank card. You know, if we get a if we get a good card, definitely we'll go blank card. Let's see, there's a curse of the maze talking. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's just uh, annoying. Go. It's not really, okay. not really a big deal if we would have taken that, but eh, it's fine, it's fine. My card, who I definitely love ourselves, the box trinkets. Um, we probably want to farm for some trinkets if we, uh, depending on what we get uh, out of the shop refresh right here. My game. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely think I want to farm for some trinkets. Probably. Man, Mr. Me is killing it right now, man. Got whipworm. Uh, what do we go with? Do we go with trinkets? I 
think we're going to farm trinkets first because there's a lot of trinkets. Um, neither of those items are very good, obviously, in the shop right now. And... And Damon's Tail is not very good either. There's a charge key. Might as well use that. Bookworm is also funny, but not very good. Got a heart out of that once we get some flies instead. Can't make use of Dimbulb, obviously, because we have 9 volts. Okay, gotta go get some money again. What am I going to stick with long term? Probably the trinket box. I always say I think it's one of the best items in the entire game for the keeper. So of course we almost die. Might as well take this. We don't. Oh, we got two trinket slots. That's right. That's my patience game. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's one of the best items you can get as the keeper. Um, just rolling through trinkets. Obviously, there's so many good trinkets that you can get with this. And, and let's see here. Just trying to think of what to do right now. Do have one more shop. You want to buy these so they don't show up in the next one? It's a touch risky. Especially when I take damage like an idiot. But we got we got that here. So we got double emperor, which is very good. Might as well take the whipworm because it's funny. Got two shot speed. Could take the uh, could take the other thing, um, which is what was the other thing there? Uh, the the, 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 the counterfeit penny. But we shouldn't need much money for the rest of this run. I would not be surprised if we agree, uh, agreed a fight on our next floor. So let's go ahead and take a look in the item room. Uh, so unfortunately does not do much for us if we had you know, there's a couple combinations with it that could be pretty pretty powerful but we don't have any of those so let's go fight the boss we got double mega fatty which is awful just gotta make sure that uh, we don't get hit by the other guy that jumps yeah like that it's a, it's a cool game it's cool I don't think the jumps can reach us now but I don't actually know how far they can jump Okay, they can, so that's uh, okay, that's not BS at all. I'd be real pissed if I die here because Mega Fatty is cheap. Especially this double Mega Fatty room where they do the quick hops. Yep, where they do the quick hops. <sighs> Come on, game. I've been focusing them down. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Can't walk into the red poop there. So we got some tears, we got some range. Need to go get some money. Uh, still think I want to do this mob trap room here. Go ahead and make our way back. Go ahead and make our way. Excited to go ahead and make our way there. Oh, that's right, we still have this guy. Get a charge on this bad boy. Whatever that item is called, I don't remember. Kane's Eye or something like that. Gives you hearts every time you go down to a new floor, potentially, I think. Does not. I don't think it works for the keeper, unfortunately. Um. Maybe we want to take the callus. Callus isn't bad. Gives you the freedom to walk over spikes, which is, you know, it can be pretty good. To be an extra cautious with my health bar here, because uh, again, I, I know myself. I've uh, done this before, where I've walked into the blood bag with only one heart as a keeper. Okay, uh, definitely want to take pay to win. Gives a reroll machine in our next shop. Take a look in here. Hope for Cricket's head. The Ace of Clubs, hoping for a two of diamonds would have been awesome because we have plant card, obviously. No dice, no dice. Let's go ahead and keep our Emperor cards. Double Emperor card is very powerful, especially late game. Plus, skip the any any two levels that we want to. Almost got me there, game. All right, so let's go ahead and I think I'm gonna keep Whipworm. Just so we get the extra shot range from the shot speed and move on down to the next floor. What do we got here? Necropolis. Alright. Get some Glorbs. Glorbs are super annoying, as I always like to say. There we go. 
make our way back here. We got some polycephalus. How you doing there? Polycephali. Polycephalodes. Poly polycephalides. I don't know what you say. <laughs> oh, this guy is annoying because uh, whenever he go too far away from him, sometimes the pathfinding is a little bit odd. Odd indeed. Oh. No reason to pick up the bunny right now. We got 99 cents, obviously. Mm, I debate that damage a little bit. It was my own fault. It was my own fault. Dumb hit of damage, but I thought I was safe from that shot. I, I wasn't, you know, I'm not going to say I was cheated or anything, but... Uh, let's go this way first. A, a double locked room. Could be interesting to see what we got in there. Walnut, don't even know what it does, or maybe that's a tonsil. A blank room, could be interesting. Strength guard, I think I'll go strength emperor. This will allow us to get uh, some a variety of things, should we come into contact with them. Take a devil deal, for example, or a black market deal, something like that. Right, yeah, apparently walked this creep there, or got hit by an enemy. It's fine. It's fine. Cautious. Perthro. Perthro is pretty good too. I suppose I'll hold on to Perthro and Blank or and uh, Strength card right now. And make sure I have an Emperor card. Gotta make sure I don't die here. Let me go get this money. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Orbital. You see, Stopwatch, obviously, a fantastic item to have. Fantastic indeed. Go ahead and go through. And, oh, that's fantastic for us. Gotta love having the cracked crown. What, the, what kind of shot is this? 2.66. I suppose I should hold on to that uh, because I'm pretty sure whenever you you spawn, if you spawn on a floor with uh, the cracked crown, uh, not the cracked crown, uh, pay to win, it does give you the reroll machine. <laughs> I see our range is absolutely ridiculous. I would love to see, like, a Libra. If you give me a Libra in the shop, that'd be awesome. Stop the shop. Talk about Libra in the store. That'd be... Again, item room is the one I'm looking for. I don't know why I can't think of that. This is a um, global D20. You see the the uh, floor layout up here, and then the D20 simple down here. Could use that, but I'm not going to at the moment. Uh, let's find our shop first. Hate this room. Fine now. Yeah, plenty of speed to get out of there. Extension cord is okay, but we don't really have anything worth. Yeah, what am I trying to say here? We only have one, uh, two followers, and they're kind of trailing behind us, so it's, we're not expecting that to do tons of work for us. Yeah, I guess I'll take Steam soon. I don't really do anything for us. World. Right, Emperor Strength. Could have rerolled, but I, I. Maybe I should have rerolled. I don't know. Maybe I should have saved that. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm split. Take a look at our shop. Skipping Stone is interesting, but I don't think it's very good for us. Same thing with Tiny Planet. It's interesting, but uh, not a very good item. Might as well pick this up. I think this contributes to the spider baby transformation. In some respects. Well, Hushi's okay. Uh, Infestation 2. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So will uh, spawn spiders every time we kill an enemy with our tears. Whoa, I'm still hit there. There's another hit thing. Got the sun. Sun's our right. Super greed. Quarter. And I don't really need anything out of here. I think I'm going to hold on to strength and perthro. Just because strength is a basically a free HP for us, and perthro can do a variety of things for us. It's our bolt that are all very good. Come on, there we go. So well, maybe a little dangerous not hold on to either of the Emperor cards, but we'll uh, see if we can't make it work. Hoping for a Angel Deal or a Devil Deal here. I already took damage, so if I don't get it, I don't really have anybody to blame but myself. Still get it there. But hey, we got one. How about that? Not doing a victory lap, for sure. Uh, yeah, don't want that. I don't think this guy gives us an item. I don't think he does, but he might as well try. I'm not in any risk. At least he gives us a charge, you know. 
At least he gives us a charge. That bridge be trash. Uh, I think I'm gonna reroll this. Yeah, it was not worth it. Decidedly not worth it. But it is what it is. We'll move on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see what we get here. XL floor, which I don't love. Because this means we miss out on a potential angel deal. But let's take a hit there. But at the very least, we'll uh, you know it'll make this run go really pretty quickly towards the end here. I'm not, I'm not coming down there again. You, you bring him up here. I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I did that. Man, I'm probably gonna take a hit of here, aren't I? All right, we went right to the boss fight. So that uh, you know, it's two bosses real quick. So we have a fortune. It's all right. We'll give us uh, an item on the chest should we happen to make it that far. Conquest is a little unfortunate because uh, I'm not going to give up the trinket box with the crack crown and what we got going on, but yeah. suppose I could use it to try to kill mom real quick, or mom's heart. Do a ton of damage, but did okay damage. It's got to be safe. Hopefully we don't take a hit. Because, again, uh, you know, having, having the slowdown effect in this room when the brimstone shots come out. If uh, there's still some shots living on the screen, could be dangerous. Go. No deal. No real surprise. We'll head on up to the cathedral. Curse of the unknown. No surprise. No, no real big deal. Let's go make sure whenever we take a hit, we have the slowdown effect, we uh, go ahead and grab ourselves some HP. Two steam sails. Very nice. <laughs> Can't use them in any capacity, though. I love our, I love our shot speed, man. It's just absolutely flying across the room. It's ridiculous. Maybe I should take the luck for the next floor. I don't know. I'm digging this, I'm digging this super high shot speed right now. Without it, what do we got? I think just one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stay with the, the shot speed. Maybe I don't know. We'll think about it after we do this room. Because the shot speed, you know, it also gives us pretty good knockback. Not that we really need it, but having knockback is pretty nice. You see, we're just actually shoving these guys back. And if we get like a blister or something, although I probably wouldn't take blister over either of the trinkets, we get like, um, oh, that's the one I'm thinking of. Pisces. Um, that could be pretty good for us. I don't know, having high shot speed is pretty good. There we go. Crack into this, and this, and. Strength guard, which we don't need two of them, I don't think. Let's go find Isaac. You can see our damage is pretty good with uh, this combination, so. We'd love to see that. There we go. Not a huge fan of this room, almost took a hit. Mostly not a fan of that room because it's the wrong direction. This room should be no problem for us. Again, our, our high shot speed is just absolutely shoving these guys back like they're nothing. Not some of them, anyway. <laughs> Not all of them. Secret room might be here. What does Ouroboros Worm do with this? <laughs> I always love Ouroboros Worm, but it's not very good. It's more of a, a meme than anything. Still looking for the, the crack, or not the crack ground. No, Swallowed Penny. I'd still take it at this point, obviously. Maybe it's not super obvious, but yeah, definitely obvious, I think, at this point. Alright, got the horseman. We got the boss fight. Love to get a small rock. No small rock. Let's go find the old Isaac. Focus in here. And we do have ourselves stopwatch, so if we do take damage, we should still probably be fine. Although it's not a guarantee. Not a guarantee. Being a little aggressive with my bombs here, but you know, we can shove them in there with <laughs> no issues at all. 
no issues at all. Yeah, I love when he lands in the fire. <laughs> we just go so fast. It's actually pretty funny. To get there, but we're fine. What does this do? <laughs> oh, it just puts us back to one, huh? We'll stick with that. We'll stick with this. And move on up. What do we have here? Chris the Unknown. Again, I don't love it, but should be fine. Cricket's Head. Uh, thank you very much again. And Daddy Longlegs. Surprised it's not Spider Baby Transformation. D4. No thank you. D4 could be interesting, uh, but I don't think it's the right move here. Although we don't have like a fantastic. Nah, nah. I'm thinking about it and I just don't think it's really cool. Could be fun, could be funny, but. Well, uh, you know, if we if we win this run, which I would say we're at a pretty high chance of winning this run right now, I'm confident in myself that I can pilot this one to victory. Got uh, good enough damage. I mean, 22.72 damage is really really good. Yeah, let's get a weird with it. Look at that shot speed. This is a dumb decision. Don't do this. But I did it because let's get weird with it. Let's get funky. Let's get freaky now. Let's get freaky freaky now. It's not like we don't have, we still don't have really good damage, <laughs> despite just picking up slow milk. Let's see, just chunking down, although I think that was a uh, dead long one. So I don't look at it. I honestly have no idea what killed me there. Well, that's why I don't pick up soy milk, so I uh, will never do that again. So this was a disappointing loss. I should not have done that. I really have no idea what hit me. I really don't. Well, if you enjoyed that video, despite the stupid mistake at the end, uh, you know, if you want to leave a like, comment, or subscription, I would appreciate it. Otherwise, we will see you all in the next video. See ya!